We're working with probability, and this one's dealing with a roulette table. A roulette wheel has 38 slots. Two of the slots are 0 and double 0. The, remainder are, the remaining slots are numbered from 1 to 36. We're asked to find the probability that, they, that if we were to spin this ball, uh, that it would land in one of these slots that is either an odd-numbered slot, uh, that is an odd-numbered slot that is greater than 32. Okay, so now let's look at, here's kind of a, a roulette board, if you will. This is what it looks like here. All the possibilities here, you've got your zero and your double zero, and then numbers one through 36. And we're trying to figure out the probability that it being an odd number greater than 32. So we look right here, here's 32, and it's gotta be greater than it, so it can't be 32. And it's gotta be an odd number anyway. So we've got 33 is one, and 35 is one. So there are really only those two, and that's it. So we've got two possibilities. Remember, probability is our desired outcome divided by the total number available. So our desired outcome is 2 because there are two slots, 33 and 35. The total number available sp spots are 38. It looks like they're 36, but we've got to remember there's a 0 and a double 0. So 2 divided by 38, which is actually 1 divided by 19. If we plug that into our calculator, we can get the answer on that. The biggest thing is that we want to remember to round this one to the nearest four decimals. If we run it to the nearest four decimals, that's what we'll have, 0 0.0526. And this gets just a little bit confusing. Just remember that 0 and double 0 are actually slots available. Um, so it's a total of 38 possibilities, not 36.